On Friday, the Public Association for Assistance to Free Economy held a roundtable on city reconstruction and property issues in the Parkin Hotel. The event was attended by representatives of international organizations as well. NGO head Zorab Ismail talked about the urgency of the discussed problem and the work implemented in this direction. Roundtable participants complained of the lack of proper city planning and poor protection of property rights. According to human rights defender Irada Javadova, for the past five years, Baku residents have been illegally deprived of their properties. Too often, citizens were not provided with fair compensation, and sometimes even no indemnity was given to them. Javadova noted that on one particular occasion, citizens were simply thrown out of their apartments by the state oil company, which had previously promised not to touch their homes. Sokar representative Nader Amraslanov took offense at this comment, saying that Sokar is not an enemy of people. He said that some people illegally seized the lands belonging to the company. The order to build terminals and oil pipelines are given by presidential administration and cabinet of ministers. So if they tell us to give compensation, we'll give, said Amraslanov, and then left the room as a sign of protest. Violation of property rights in Azerbaijan is a political issue, and political government is responsible for these problems, said economic expert Natik Jeferli. According to Tofik Guliev, member of Urban Planning and Architecture Committee, property chaos in Baku is associated with the absence of city master plan. Economist Rashad Ibrahimov underlined that property problems are not limited to ordinary people, as properties of entrepreneurs are also seized and demolished.